Steve, it is March Madness of a different kind. Reality Check has been telling you for months that the real race for the Republican primary isn't happening in the state-to-state -state contest. The real contest is who wins the delegates. We can now confirm there are some cases where some candidate supporters are attempting to change the rules of the caucuses in order to manipulate the delegate process. Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. Well, we have been closely watching the delegate process while most of the media is simply ignoring it. And yet the selection of delegates, I've told you this, not who wins the beauty contest from state to state, that will determine the Republican candidate for president. Tonight we're going to show you what went down in one precinct in Missouri on Saturday. This is the St. Charles, Missouri caucus. This is where voters come to become delegates and then move on to the congressional district conventions and the state GOP convention. From there, Delegates are voted on, again to advance to the Republican National Convention in Tampa, where they will vote for the Republican nominee for president. Missouri will have 52 delegates at the Republican National Convention. Well, around 1,000 people showed up on Saturday in St. Charles to caucus. Now, the first problem started when a rule was made that no one would be allowed to record what took place. The problem with that rule, these meetings are to be conducted under Robert's Rules of Order and yet no rules committee was ever formed. Even so, police were called in. Take a look. So no videos allowed, but with cell phones in hand, a lot of audio was recorded. Eugene Dokes from the Missouri GOP is speaking in this audio we're going to share with you. He was the temporary chairman whose job it is to carry out the nomination and the approval of an official caucus chairman. I hereby appoint Ben the chairman, Cheryl Bates, so just to make clear what just happened there, Eugene Dokes, instead of accepting nominations from the floor for a caucus chair, as the rules state, instead he appoints a chairman of his choosing. And the crowd, well, they don't like it at all. The place goes nuts. Dokes then decides that he's going to adjourn the meeting. The problem there? Under the Missouri GOP Chairman's Guide, the chairman cannot adjourn the meeting without two-thirds support of the assembly. Also, according to the rules, the Delegate Selection Caucus must take place at the same location where it was advertised in writing 15 days prior. That location was the high school. Are we going to let the St. Charles County Central Committee railroad all of us? No! 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 Nope. 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 Let's stand our ground and have a caucus right here. And that's what they did. Brent Stafford, along with one of the top parliamentarians in the state of Missouri, they decided to reconvene the caucus right there in the parking lot. We have to have a roster. We have to turn in a roster. Okay? So, right now, we have to be quick about it. And we're going to need to, if you got a piece of paper or circulate it, you've got to get everybody saved. Give yes, it to me. Give it also, you yes, should sir. have a number on your bracelet. Write it next to your name. Okay. Name, address, and, and your bracelet number. Do we email it? Do you want a stamp? Yes. Okay, well, don't get a stamp before, before the SWAT team comes. Before the SWAT team comes, he said. And police did come. Within minutes, Brent Stafford was arrested. I talked with Brent via Skype about his arrest. They took me away from the crowd uh, and uh, handcuffed me and uh, started walking me uh, towards their uh, police cars and their paddy wagon. Uh, request um, for uh, you know, answers of if am I being arrested or detained, and what, are, what am I being charged with, we're met with answers, but we'll tell you later. In the end, the cops charged Stafford with trespassing. Now, here's the deal. St. Charles police had no business arresting Stafford. Not only was the crowd not out of control, as you saw plainly in that video, and they were convening at the high school, the proper location for the caucus, but they were actually acting in exact accordance with the rules stated in the Missouri GOP Chairman's Guide, which states on page 33, section 5.7.7. The title of the section, Chairman Walks Out, and it reads, Should the chairman walk out or otherwise vacate his duties with no intention of returning, declaring the meeting adjourned without the support of the assembly and leaving the premises, which is what happened, the body should proceed with declaring the chair vacant. 
And the rules go on to say a new chair shall be appointed by the remaining members of the caucus and they continue the caucus process right then. That's what happened. Today on Talk Radio, on a show called All Men in the Morning, Eugene Dokes admitted that he and members of the State Central Committee, yeah, they were trying to control the outcome of the delegate selection. What we were hoping to do, I think, was not have a full takeover of one particular group where they might only be represented by 1% of the county, but yet they would get all of the delegates. They didn't think that that was fair for St. Charles County. So here's what you need to know. The bottom line here, that is not the job of party leaders. The point of a caucus is you show up and you make your voice heard and your voice counts. But for too long, party leaders have decided they know better and they need to and have to control the outcome. This year, Republicans are not falling in line. And that is Reality Check.